Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about and, and provide a nothing to a review. Obviously, this is a cybersecurity channel, so we're going to talk about it, cybersecurity. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Before I begin, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. If you like this video, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I will gladly appreciate it. Thank you very much. So hot off the embarrassing implosion of its messaging app, the upstart hardware company Nothing is back to making phones again. <laughs> they didn't learn their lesson, but they're coming at it again. We can't we can't uh, hate on hate that on for that. that. Hate on them for that. So this time it's a budget device, the Nothing Phone 2A, which is being sold in Europe for 329 euros and sort of coming to the u.s for 349 on a developer program with limited carrier support just like the bigger nothing phone 2 this has a unique rear design full of lights and faux mechanical cladding embedded under the clear back on this model the clear back is plastic while the front is glass this is some aluminum somewhere in the mid frame but the sides are plastic so from a cybersecurity perspective what do you think about this phone given the details that i just provided please let me know in the comment section below as usual with nothing phones it's very odd to be able to see screw heads on the back but not access them because of the glued on rear cover in a world where everyone nothing included pitches more sustainable devices you could be both good looking and repairable with a design like this if you just didn't and tome the screws under a clear cover the phone has you know it only has ip54 dust and water resistance meaning it can't cannot handle much more than rain so it's not like the glue construction is doing much right still it's nice to see a budget phone with some design work put into it even if it is the phone the phony full repairable design language right even if it's that for specs we have a 6.7 inch 122 or uh, gig um HZ 2412 OLED display, a MediaTek Dimensity of 7200 Pro Sock. The MediaTek is a 4nm chip with two ARM Cortex A715 cores and six A510 cores in a 2023 flagship ARM Sock. These cores would handle the medium and background processing tasks with a big X3 core handling the primary workloads, but the budget chip has the primary core sliced off, so it's slow, but it's slow and modern which is nice, some people would say. You still get a 5,000 mAh, mAh battery, which should last a while with the cheaper sock. Nothing claims two days of battery life, and if you need a change, 45W fast charge is a nice to have feature at this price point. The base model of eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage with an option to jump to 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gig gigabytes of storage. The phone has Wi-Fi 6E, UFS 3.1 storage and an in-screen fingerprint reader, NFC, and an ARM Mali G610 MC4 GPU. It ships with Android 14 and nothing promises three years of major OS updates and four years of security updates. What do you think about that from a cybersecurity perspective? The rear camera design is a good exercise in restraint. There are only two uh, cameras, a set of 50 MP sensors, main and ultra wide of unknown uh, provenance. Often Android manufacturers think more cameras better and these budget phones are loaded with useless two MP sensors that are just there to fill out a spec sheet, right? Uh, if we're here to hit a price point uh, superfluous, rear cameras should be the first thing to go out. The US launch situation is kind of sketchy. This doesn't have the right bands for US carriers, so nothing uh, is making it available via a developer program and you'll just have to deal with the limited connectivity. So please let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. From a cybersecurity perspective, is this good? Uh, does Apple, Android, what have you, do they need competition at this point? Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership and see you on the next video. Thank you